2020 has been a rocky year to say the least, and the impact it has had on video games has been quite extraordinary. With the shutdown of E3 and other conventions, companies need to make their own announcements individually. Nintendo is no different. With no E3, where they usually give a presentation at, they must settle on their own time and place for announcements. In this past year, there have been two. Yes, two actual Nintendo Directs that were made to showcase a variety of games. The first took place on March 26th, about a month after the Animal Crossing Direct. Okay, we got a Direct. What was it like? Well, it was a Direct Mini and showcased games we already knew and games we don't care about. A flop to say the least after six months of pure silence. It's also important to note that I believe that the community, or at least some of it, and I, don't care about Directs. So long as we get the necessary information, I'm fine. I like the format of directs, but if Nintendo just continually shadow dropped stuff or moved on to something different, that's completely fine. I care about the information in the direct, not the direct itself. Nintendo fans waited another four months to get a Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. Two Direct Minis back to back. This one is now regarded as probably the worst direct in Nintendo history. At a time when all Nintendo fans wanted was an update of first party releases, we got news on stuff we didn't care about. Who would have seen that one coming? Now in defense of Nintendo, there has been a pandemic, which probably hasn't had an absolutely major impact on them. This is backed up by them actually stating that it has not had an effect on their games, but since they have somewhat backtracked on that statement. However, what frustrates me the most is the amount of games. There has been one game, this multi-billion dollar company with millions of dollars sunk into development has released one game this year. I do not count Animal Crossing New Horizons because it wasn't even supposed to be released this year. The other problem with Nintendo is why they make these directs in the first place. These direct minis that we have had these past months have been filled with things that are not direct worthy at all. If you want to announce one game, why don't you just publish it to the Nintendo YouTube channel and make a Twitter post shouting it out? It's unnecessary for Nintendo to build up hype so they can talk briefly on things none of us are interested in. This whole year has been, well, they have to do something. That statement has become somewhat redundant, with this now starting to slip into 2021. Games are announced and months later are released. Paper Mario had a fast reveal to release time, so hopefully if there is anything left for 2020, it will do the same. It's frustrating to have something announced being a new Nintendo Direct, but then get absolutely disappointed. I don't even need a game today or tomorrow, I just want to know what they're doing. I'm not some genius when it comes to practicing business and marketing, but I do know that if the consumer has no expectations of the producer, there is most definitely a problem. That statement rings true to Nintendo at this moment. Little Timmy, who has no thought on the industry of video games and development and publishing schedules and blah 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 blah, has no interest in Nintendo Directs. Fans have an interest in Nintendo Directs. So shoving some garbage in our faces after announcing some crappy Direct Mini is just so frustrating. It really just feels like Nintendo isn't making an effort and is just kind of sitting there twiddling their thumbs. It's mind boggling to watch Microsoft and Sony gather up all the resources and go ahead with brand new next gen systems and do elaborate showcases for only Nintendo to sit there with nothing and just kind of watch. Nintendo has such an opportunity here to throw games out and showcase new amazing things for the Switch, which has been basically sold out for a while now and is finally ramping back up in availability. For quite a while now, we have known that Nintendo has no interest in releasing a new console, so they don't get a pass for not worrying about games for the current system. These are the reasons why I don't like Nintendo as a company anymore, or at least for now. They've completely left us in the dark with half-baked efforts to throw us a leash, and I'm tired of it. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.